So now we're going to talk about what is called vertex labeling. So just to uh, remind ourselves, we're considering an upscale version of um, the matching pennies game. So we had this. And we are looking at the uh, role player best response polytope, which is of this form where m is 2. And we have that x has got to be equal greater to 0. And we've got that xb has got to be less than or equal to 1. And uh, we did all that. And we drew out the um, best response polytope as something somewhat like this, where this was a quarter, a quarter. This was um, a third, zero. And this was zero, a third. And that's obviously zero, zero. OK, so this is, this is p. All right. <coughs> and so our vertices just write them down again. Excuse me. <coughs> our vertices just write them down again are zero, zero, um, a third. 0, 0, a third, and a quarter, a quarter. And recall that these inequalities here just correspond to saying that x1 is greater or equal to 0, x2 is greater or equal to 0, x1 plus 3x2 is less than or equal to 1, and 3x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 1. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to number these uh, labels. And we're going to start at 0. So this has got 0, 1, 2, and 3. OK? And all of these um, inequalities have specific meaning. Specifically, specific meaning if they are binding. So by binding, we mean if the equality um, occurs, right? So binding, we mean that x1 equals 0, we mean that x2 equals 0, we mean that x1 plus 3x2 equals 1, and 3x1 plus x2 equals 1, okay? So what we say about a particular vertex is that if it's binding on one of the particular inequalities, then it has that label, OK, so for example, if we if we look at 0, 0, um, 0, 0 has both of these binding equalities. So we can say that um, it's got labels 0 and 1, All right? Uh, we can actually label the particular boundaries of our polytope according to our uh, equality. So the x1 equals 0. Um, binding equality corresponds to this boundary, right? Because if x1 is equal to 0, then we lie on this line. This is 1, because that's when x2 equals 0. Um, this line here corresponds to 3. And this line here corresponds to 2, all right? And so from there, we can immediately pick out what are the labels of each of our vertices. So we have that 0, 0 has labels um, 0, 1. We have that 1 third 0 has labels 1 and 3. Um, we have that 0, 1 third has labels 0 and 2. And finally, we have that a quarter, a quarter has labels at uh, 2 and 3, OK? Now, what these labels actually represent is important, because we see that, um, for example, 0, 0 is simply when neither the strategies are played, right? However, 1, 3, 0, which has labels 1 and 3, so this label and this label, First of all, it's telling us that the role player does not play their second strategy. And when that happens, um, the column player, uh, the column player's second strategy, right? Because this is the column player's first strategy, this is the column player's second strategy. The column player's second strategy 
has maximum utility. Okay, we don't know what that utility is yet because everything is unscaled, but that's what these mean. So for example, a quarter a quarter is the point at which both strategies are played and the column player has maximal utility. Okay, now we can do the same for Q and we'll just do that uh, very briefly now. We call that the definition for the column player. So for Q is uh, Y belong to R to the N such that a y is less than or equal to 1, and the ordering um, is important now, and y is greater or equal to uh, 0. So this corresponds to these inequalities. 3y1 plus y2 is less than or equal to 1. y1 plus 3y2 less than or equal to 1. y1 greater or equal to 0. y2 greater or equal to 0. Uh, just remem remember that a is equal to 3, 1, 1, 3 which is where these numbers are coming from. Um, that's our first, second, third, and fourth. Remember, starting at zero. And uh, we can draw this, and it's actually going to be more or less the same as, as before, with the slight caveat that our labels are going to be somewhat uh, different. So this has got label uh, three. This is label two. This is label 0, and this is label 1. And so this gives us vertices 0, 0, um, has label 2, 3. Vertices 1 third 0 has labels uh, 0, 3. Um, 0, 1 third has labels 1 and 2. And a quarter, a quarter has labels uh, 0, 1. All right? So this is an important exercise, being able to label the vertices of your polytope. And what we're going to see uh, next is how we can use this to find Nash equilibrium.